In this tutorial, I'm going to show you, we're just going to go through uh, setting up a quick, seamless, uh, seamless uh, vector pattern using just squares, essentially. Uh, so to get started, we're going to create a square that's, we'll just make it uh, 3.5 inches, and we're just going to Align it to the center of the page by hitting P on your keyboard. Next thing you want to do is we want to switch to our Bezier tool and just create a two or create one horizontal line and then click on it till you get your rotation icons. And we're just gonna rotate holding down control and then right click as we hold down to get a duplicate. We're going to select both of those and hit P to center them in uh, the center of our page here. And we just want to combine them. So this gives us kind of our uh, pattern. The square gives us our pattern boundaries and the crosshair uh, lines here give us our kind of quadrant look to the pattern. So, once you have that done, we're just going to create another square. We'll hit uh, P to center it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and rotate uh, 45 degrees so we get it looking like a baseball diamond. And the next thing I'm going to do is, with it still selected, I want to go over it and grab my contour tool and I want to do an outside contour that is oh let's see about uh, we'll go 0.25 inches and I'll switch back to our pick tool and I'm just going to scale this up until it's going beyond the, the corners here are going beyond the edge of the, the boundary here we can make this red so that we know that it's our, our guidelines here uh, so the next thing I want to do is uh, select the uh, square here while it still has the contour active, make sure that both lines highlight. If you click the original, uh, it won't select the, the contour part, so we want to select the contour part, and it selects both. We're going to hit plus on our keyboard to duplicate, and we're just going to scale down. Uh, this is just kind of approximate. We're just kind of getting a general look here. Um, yeah, that looks about good, so it's about 2.7 inches. Um, next thing we want to do is we're going to duplicate this again. So hit plus, and we're going to rotate back to uh, zero degrees or horizontal. And I want to scale this one up. Let's see, I'm going to gonna go so these corners go past this edge here. Um, scale this one up a little bit more. Okay, and next thing I want to do is I want to duplicate this one again, the, the regular square one. And we're going to bring that, scale that in inside here to, uh, yeah I think that looks good so we have the uh, kind of the basic setup for our pattern here and now we're going I'm going to kind of uh, make it unique so what I want to do is take all of the the contour parts and I'm going to separate them by hitting 
control K on my keyboard and then combining them right after into a solid shape. Um, so I'll just do that for the other three. next thing I want to do is take the the two rotated ones rotated squares I'm going to contour out uh, let's see about point, point one five looks good so we'll do that and hit control K and I want to just I'll just give the the contour object a blue color because this is just going to be a we're just going to use this to trim uh, parts from the other squares here and so we'll do the same thing on the inner one okay and we'll just give this one a red one fill color so the next thing I want to do is I want to take my blue object here and I want to trim that out from this outer uh, square. So we'll just select those, hit trim, and get rid of the blue. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'm going to get rid of that, and I want actually want to contour the this one. So we'll make this one red and then trim it from this object here. Let's see, the next thing we want to do is I want to take this square, I want to duplicate it, I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees, and I'm just going to bring this in like so. Uh, with that, I'm going to take these two Actually, I'm going to take all of these. I'm just going to weld them all together. So I uh, grab this one as well and combine it. So now it's all one solid object here. Last thing I want to do to get my uh, pattern object is take the the red bounding box here and then select the pattern shapes. And I'm just going to intersect. And that will give me my pattern, or my pattern object here. So I'm just going to resize down to one inch to test out my pattern. So with that, I'm going to come over to the transform, and on the x-axis, I'm just going to transform or move by one inch and have seven-ish copies. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the y-axis with a negative one. So we can see how our pattern, seamless pattern wo looks. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Um, you can do, do the same setup and then, uh, you know, trim out different, different shapes, different, using di different squares and which parts they trim to get variations on this pattern. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this quick uh, tutorial, please like, subscribe, and share the video.